Hello teachers, in this video I'm going to show you a very important keyboard shortcut that you're going to find in handy as you are trying to display multiple monitors or multiple applications. So depending on your setup in your classroom, whether at home or at school, you may have a laptop and a monitor, you may have a laptop and a projector, but this will be a keyboard shortcut that you want to remember to help you do what you wanna do and to troubleshoot if something doesn't look the way you want it to. So what you're going to learn in this video is what options are available when you open function plus F8 um, with your PC screen only, a second screen, duplicate or extend. If that's all you wanna watch in this video, great, you can just stop watching. If you want to also learn how to change your display settings to rearrange your laptop and monitor if they're oriented incorrectly, I'll show you that in this video as well after. All right, so currently on my screen, my laptop, I have a few things open. I have a work time task. I have my Google Meet for class, and I also have the class slides. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up function F8 the FN key will be in the bottom left of your keyboard and will either be blue or yellow. The F8 key will be found up at the very top of your keyboard in the middle. So you'll see currently I have selected extend. Um, so this, what this one will allow me to do is I have my laptop screen and then my monitor or my projector is an extension of my workspace. So I could, for example, pull these slides over and then they're going to appear on my other screen while I can watch my Google Meet tab on my computer. Another option that you have when you pull up FNF8 is duplicate. So what this means is exactly what it says. What is on my laptop is going to be exactly what is seen on my monitor or on my projector for students. So these are the two options that you are likely going to want to be using. So if you ever run into any problems, it's probably because you are in one of these other views, PC screen only or second screen only. You're likely only deciding between duplicate or extend. So I'm going to show you what these other two we don't want views look like, just because when you're moving classrooms um, or replugging in after a period of not having been plugged in or you're coming from home, going into the building, you might find yourself with a black screen or it's not doing what you expect it to. So if I have PC screen only clicked, that might look like I am plugged in and I'm expecting my uh, monitor or projector to be doing something, but the screen is black. So that's your cue to hit function F8, and you'll likely only see that, oh, it's only doing my laptop. So you'll wanna switch it to duplicate or extend. Now, one thing that can be scary that happens is second screen only. So this might be something that happens to you. When you have second screen only, what happens is your laptop screen goes completely black, but you're going to be able to see what's on your <clears throat> projector or your second monitor. So again, anytime this happens, if you've just plugged in and it's not doing what you expect it to do, pull up FN or function F8, and that should resolve it for you as you can then pick duplicate or extend based on what you want. So that's the end of explaining to you your different options here. Now we're going to move on to that second outcome of how to make sure that your display settings are matching what you're expecting. Okay, so if you find yourself in a situation where you have your slides up and you're, you have your laptop straight in front of you and your monitor is over to the left, but you have to drag to the right to be able to get something to show up on there. We don't want that for your brain. So this is going to show you how to fix that depending on your actual orientation or arrangement in your classroom or at home. 
So you can right click on your desktop and at the bottom of the menu, click on display settings. So what will come up is a view, depending on how many things you have um, hooked up to your laptop. So one is always going to be your laptop, two or even three is what you have hooked up. So right now this is correct. I have my laptop one and my monitor is physically sitting on the left side of my laptop. You might find yourself in a situation though where it's switched. So what you can do is just move to the right or to the left and then you can experiment with your slides um, going back and forth or your tab just to make sure that it is correct.